How did Tom Hopper land the role of Luther Hargreaves? What do Emmy Raver Lampman and Ellen Page have in common in real life? How did Robert Sheehan change Klaus's backstory? And what do we know about the newcomer to the show, Lila? Plus, don't miss an amazing Umbrella Academy themed giveaway that we'll explain in the video. Hi, I'm Clive. Let's go! Tom Hopper as Luther the eldest of the seven super-powered siblings is super strong, but his excellent physique isn't the only reason why 6'5 Tom Hopper is perfect for the role. Although the actor has always been fond of sports, he prefers roles that aren't just the muscle. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not just seen as a big guy, said the actor. I really love that about Umbrella Academy, because Luther's so much more than that. But still, starring in the series was a great challenge for him, as initially the showrunners wanted Hopper to get as big as he could. So he went through the process of trying to get huge, eating 15 meals a day. Tom also did a lot of martial arts training, because the showrunner Steve Blackman insisted it was important for Luther's character. However, at the last minute it was decided that the actor should wear the muscle suit to achieve the signature primate look. Nevertheless, Tom Hopper always keeps healthy foods handy for himself and his family. The father of two kids, son Freddie Douglas and daughter Truly Rose, the actor says you'll never find sugar or processed foods in his kitchen. His family tries to cook as fresh as possible, so the must-haves in Hopper's kitchen include eggs, vegetables, and cacao powder in case the kids want something sweet. Tom's charming wife, actress Laura Higgins, supports his superhero diet, but what she doesn't approve of is her husband's love of motorbikes. In an interview last year with Men's Health, Tom revealed that he doesn't own a motorcycle anymore, as his wife says he shouldn't really have one because he's got too many responsibilities, especially with two children. Yet, if he happens to be somewhere in the country on a nice sunny day, Tom is sure he'd find a Harley rental place. David Castaneda as Diego the knife-throwing number two became a breakout role for David, although the actor was already known for his roles in Jane the Virgin and Sicario. Surprisingly, Castaneda knew very little about Diego's background when he first read for the role, and he certainly had no clue that there are legions of comic book fans. I was unaware of it. I found out that it was huge once we wrapped and we were going to Comic-Con, David explained, adding that the cast was given room to flesh out their characters away from the spotlight while filming in Canada. Castaneda put in a lot of work into bringing his character's superhero to life on screen. And although David, in his own words, still sucks at darts, he trained hard to be confident with knives and ensure that everyone would feel safe on set. It was an extension of my body when I was fighting with them, especially because they were real, the actor revealed. I'd say about 95% of any time you see me pull out a knife, it's a real knife. In the first season, Diego had to deal with losing both his ex-girlfriend, Detective Patch, and his robot mom, Grace. Fortunately, it seems that in the upcoming season, he will meet a girl who will bring out a more lighthearted side to the traditionally gruff character. But we'll talk about her a little bit later. And what do we know about David Castaneda's personal life? We couldn't find any hint about his current or past relationships, though it's hard to believe that he doesn't have someone special in his life. But the actor is definitely very close with his family and has two sisters, Laura and Natasha. Ritu Arya as Lila Pitts According to the official Twitter account of the Umbrella Academy, the newcomer to the show is a chameleon who can be as brilliant or as clinically insane as the situation requires. She is also said to be unpredictable, mischievous, sarcastic, and have a twisted sense of humor. It seems that Lila is an original character, and the fans are puzzled as to whether she is a shapeshifter or if she's yet another super-powered person, like the Hargreaves siblings. Moreover, Lila's image on the official poster is paired with that of Diego, so perhaps we are going to witness a love story. At least we think that David Castaneda hinted at this when he captioned the poster, Why am I smiling? Lila is played by the British Indian actress Ritu Arya. You might have seen her in the series Humans, where she portrayed Flash, and most recently, in the rom-com Last Christmas. According to IMDb, Arya trained at the Oxford School of Drama and graduated from Southampton University with a bachelor's degree in astrophysics. She is also part of an ambient indie pop band, K.I.N., with her friends Grace and Adam. Emmy Raver Lampman as Allison. It turns out, number three has an amazing singing voice. Before starring in the Umbrella Academy, Emmy was a regular in Broadway musicals, and her singing resume is stacked with pretty powerful roles. Her role in the Umbrella Academy is actually her first TV experience, and her first introduction to the world of graphic novels. Raver Lampman revealed how she's been developing her character. 
Originally, Allison's hair was going to be Emmy's natural hair, but it was hard getting into character when she looked like herself. So, she realized that she needed some separation and told the showrunners that it would be really helpful if she had a wig. On the show, Allison and Luther have a very deep connection, and both Emmy and Tom Hopper were a little nervous about the chemistry between them. Fortunately, they hit it off instantly and became friends in real life as well. We talk almost every other day, if not every day, she shared. Even though he lives in London and raising two babies and life is crazy, Raver Lampman also developed a friendship with her other co-star, Ellen Page. Ellen and I have become really close, the actress revealed. We just really got along great and still do. The actress is super protective about her personal life, and although Emmy is actively present on major social media platforms, you can hardly find any details about her relationships. But what we do know is that she has two super cute doggies, Moose and Luna. Robert Sheehan as Klaus the Umbrella Academy is not the first supernatural show for Robert. You might remember him as the provocative and irritating Nathan if you watched the British TV show Misfits. He definitely is a perfect fit for the role of Klaus and has become the standout favorite character for the majority of the fans. On the show, Klaus is gay, and in season one, we saw him starting a relationship with Dave. However, this change was only made as they went along with production. Klaus didn't have gay tendencies when we began, Sheehan revealed, but that sort of developed as we developed the character. It just felt kind of truthful. And though it's never mentioned in the show, Sheehan also describes Klaus as pansexual. In real life, the actor identifies as straight, even though he has questioned his sexuality in the past and is known for defying gender norms when it comes to clothing. Robert Sheehan used to date actress Sofia Butella, whom he met on the set of the film Jet Trash. They were together for almost three years, but eventually confirmed their breakup in 2018, blaming it on their similar professions and the long distance. Since then, Robert Sheehan hasn't been linked to anyone, although he stated that his mind is open to developing a connection with somebody. Aiden Gallagher as number five. The young actor is a big fan of the Umbrella Academy graphic novels, and he was dying to play the part of this hard-drinking, misanthropic 58-year-old killer trying to save the world. Aiden revealed that number five is really a dream role for anybody, whether you're a fan of the comics or just a regular 14-year-old actor. The role had a lot of layers to it that I knew would be fun to break down and figure out the motives behind. For me, it was a dream project. Gallagher also shared that he felt a connection to his character in the sense that he'd always considered himself to be older than his age and struggled to feel like he fit in. The teen actor is also working on his music career and recently released a really beautiful new single, 4th of July. I do feel I'm good at acting and it comes easily to me, he shared, but music takes a lot more knowledge and skill. Aiden is also interested in environmental issues. At the age of 14, he became a United Nations Environment Goodwill Ambassador for North America. But if you think Gallagher is too busy to have any personal life, then you're wrong. In 2017, he was dating Hannah McLeod, known as Young Louise from the drama series Revenge. They were together for about a year. Since then, Aiden has been seen with aspiring singers Trinity Rose and Sky Staper, but hasn't confirmed any romantic relationships. Justin H. Min as Ben Number six is probably the most enigmatic character on the show, because he is technically dead. He not only haunts Klaus as a ghost, he also serves as his brother's conscious. I had so much fun playing that, revealed the actor. When Robbie would do something crazy or says something hilarious, I would roll my eyes and laugh at him. That was our dynamic on set. We don't know for sure how Ben died, and many of the fans were doubtful if he would make it to the second season. But thankfully, Justin has been promoted to the main cast of the Umbrella Academy. The role of Ben is Min's biggest role to date, and landing the show was the biggest secret he ever had to keep. Ben was so under wraps that friends and family thought Justin was taking a semester abroad in Toronto. Apart from the Umbrella Academy, we will soon be able to see Justin in an upcoming sci-fi drama film, After Yang. Along with his acting career, Min is pursuing a career in photography and has carried out a number of projects. Unfortunately, we don't know much about the actor's private life. The only thing we are sure about is that he is very close to his family, as his Instagram is full of pictures with his parents, siblings, and nephews. Ellen Page as Vanya the actress revealed that in the second season, she will explore her newfound confidence. And what does that mean in the good ways and bad kind of thing? In real life, Ellen Page also explores good things. After coming out in 2012, Ellen Page is finally leading the life she always wanted to have. She admitted that previously she lived something of a double life, which hurt her relationships. Two years ago, Ellen surprised her fans when she married a professional dancer and choreographer, Emma Portner. The two met on the set of the Umbrella Academy. It was none other than Portner who choreographed that beautiful 
beautiful dance of Allison and Luther's. Ellen and Emma tied the knot after only six months of dating. The actress shared an Instagram post with a photo of their gently touching hands adorned with simple wedding bands. Since then, the couple has confirmed the romance with loved up pictures more than once. Ellen is a frequent presence in her new wife's YouTube and Instagram videos, as they explain that they are happiest when they are creating something together. And last year, Emma and Ellen got a new family member, a puppy they named Mo. And while we are all getting ready for the awesomeness of season two, prepare yourself for some time travel too. This vintage Polaroid camera will bring you closer to season two's 1960s setting and give an amazing Umbrella Academy aesthetics experience. In partnership with one more cool channel, The Catcher, we've designed the easiest rules to participate in the contest. Just three steps. One, follow the link in the pinned comment to watch an exciting video about the Umbrella Academy's audition process on The Catcher's channel. Two, subscribe to The Catcher. And lastly, three, answer a fun question from The Catcher's video in the comment section. But don't worry, it's not the only prize. There are two more gifts up for grabs. Super cozy Umbrella Academy hoodies will be waiting for their lucky owners. So follow the link, subscribe, and win! But hurry, because the giveaway is closing on August 2nd, right after we finish binge-watching the new season. So, who is your favorite Hargreaves? Don't be shy to share in the comments. And as always, stay awesome!